I've been like really a vagabond rider. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Start entering. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wrote that. Aprilia RR was amazing. Amazing. No. I don't know. I, I love this bike. It's smooth. It won't give you any problem anytime because it's a Yamaha. 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles and nothing. Like, I just changed the oil. Change the oil? Three times. The first time when I got it, and then two, two times. I bought it uh, when you came. The, the end of March. Oh, okay, and uh, and you have been on the on the road. On the road for ten thousand miles and two months and maybe almost three, almost three months. Yeah. I will be three months this week riding. This same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and your final destination is where are you going? I don't have a final destination yet. Glasgow is the first, yeah. Glasgow yeah. is my first stop. Yeah. But like, I want to visit uh, family and friends over there. Uh, I will get to, to my cousin's house on Edinburgh. Then I would love to, uh, well, I'm going to get together with other friends one month later that I, like, well, no, it's less than a month. I got to be on Switzerland. So, I don't know, I will go around, I don't know where, like, I, I got family on, on Spain, I got family, or I got friends living in, in Sweden too. plane on Friday and I got to sell my bike I got five days to sell it <laughs> because I, 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 I'm gonna stay in Boston I don't know where yet I'm thinking about buying a like more a tourism bike smaller than I, that I have right now I got a 1300 right now right now I, I'm thinking about 650 maybe 800 something like I don't know more tourism easy to handle <coughs> Maybe if, if I hit a dirt road, it's gonna uh, be much better than having a... This is the, the bike that I want to have in my country because we don't have too many paid roads. So with this one, you can go outside. You can go everywhere. I like that. I would love to tour with this thing all around the world. I love to. Uh, I forgot that they word. Give you, yeah, they give you like. A, they give you all the, the motorcycle. They give you everything. They, yeah, you just ride. Yeah. And, uh, Sponsorship. Yeah, spo yeah, like a sponsor. Right? Oh, that's, yeah. that's what I need. A sponsor. <laughs> a big sponsor. Yeah, for so free. Can, Even if it's just a bike and. Oh, well, I'm not I asking can, things for free. The, I, I will produce something for them. Yeah, I don't know. A good, will, a good movie could be. The, yeah. I got the. I got the. Yeah. The film. Guy already did too. <laughs> so then you have to then you have to take this guy also with you <laughs> all the time. Would you? take them too far away. <laughs> Just to ride in a, on, a, 
On the course, I don't know, on a, the speedway. Not good for the long ride? No, I don't have, I don't have anywhere to put my, all my things. <laughs> you gotta plan all the things. Well, and now with the GPS, it's not that difficult, you know? You just have to know very well your bike. Now is everything so easy to do that you still have to plan give that step you know that's why I'm, I would love to do this same thing but getting out of the roads it's gonna be much difficult you know much more difficult I don't know you can get a, fl a, flat, a flat tire much more mm -hmm. easy, you know, easier yeah, it's more like the adventure it's, it's more an adventure I don't know there's so many people right now doing many crazy things thanks for the facebook instagram all this kind of stuff we know more about the people oh yeah yeah because to see get to get to see other ones yes. what, what they do and um, sometimes like fall you get to kind of like fall in love with what somebody else is doing mm -hmm. and you want to do something not probably not the same of course but something very similar or i don't know I've, yeah when when you get to to follow your dream is when you I don't know when you're very very happy and you can mm -hmm. I don't know I I, I, will, I will, I'm just trying to figure out what what what, to, <laughs> what, what do I'm what what I'm going to do with my life so I'm probably not not sure of anything but. <laughs> But the less I know, the, the less fear I have. <laughs> <laughs> I started this because, uh, well, I was having the most normal life in, you can imagine. Like, I was uh, studying, then went to work, worked for three years on real estate, and I got married to that didn't work too, that didn't work at all. Like we stayed one year as, as, as a couple living together and didn't work at all. And when that ends, that was one of the main reasons that ended. And also I got fired at my job. Okay, I gotta do something different, something that, that I would love to do. I was always, in, in my mind was traveling. I gotta travel, I gotta know other people, other way of living I'm, I come from a very tight family in a very uh, how do you say like uh, conservative maybe view and, and and it's kind of tough to get out of that it's difficult to get out of of I don't know what all your family has been there for probably two or three generations doing the same thing in the same place and and then you you get out of that and and start living your own life that's what i'm trying to do that's what i'm trying to do living live that i the life I, I really want that i has worked for now i'm just starting <laughs> i this is the first Three months. I'm still figuring out how to maintain myself. Like I, I've been, I've been like really a vagabond rider, <laughs> trying to make it as cheap as I can, uh, staying on uh, people houses, couch surfing, camping all the way. I have found that the people just want to help other people in my situation you get to know people that just want to help you all the time like show you places they give you things I don't know I, I got this yeah. from the <laughs> the owners of the camping the camping site and those guys now want to host me in my last destination here in the United States they want to uh, give me a, a place to stay in Boston. That's so nice. Like, That's so great. nice for me. Yeah, like, they're they're being very nice. And this is just one example. There are, there are other people in other places just told me you stay 
as long as you want. That's so nice for people that just want to help. That give you like, we say esperanza, hope. Hope that people are good. People are just are good everywhere. One of my my main goals from this journey was to like kind of like found myself. Like what? Okay, what 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 do I want to what, what do I want to do next? What do I and also like know myself like it's, it's a difficult thing to get to know yourself and okay this is what I want to do right now this is what I love and I've been uh, motivated with a lot of people that they just do they, what they want they, they do, do, I wasn't doing the, the thing that I, that I really love now I'm doing that. I, now I have to figure out how to live with it. <laughs> make, make a living of it. But I'm sure there is a, it's a space for everyone and, and for everything. So if you keep yourself very positive and um, very open to, to accept any other maybe opportunity, you will find your place. When I arrived, everything was... Well, I stayed in a very good friend house. He helped me a lot to start too, because he was like pushing me like, okay, get ready. Like, and I was working for that. Like, fucking got the, the motorcycle and all the gear and everything and the camping gear, the riding gear, everything was... Um, was to do this and I don't know I was was the, 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 the most difficult part is to start when you're and to and when I mean start I mean get out of the places you are comfortable because you get to one place you get comfortable people treat you well you feel like you want to stay you know you're having good food maybe good company and it's difficult to say goodbye always and to give that step but the, the good thing is I got my goal that is keep keep on rolling you know <laughs> keep on going and riding uh, but yeah being without a plan at all like when I came here, I was thinking about Route 66. That's more the kind of like the the thing that everyone sees from outside, like iconic road. And I was like, when I was here, I talked with a lot of people that told me that's not really a very interesting road. Maybe you should go elsewhere. I don't know. What do you What do you really like? And I love mountains. I love camping. I love like. So that's why I hit probably the most most ca the amount of mo mountains that I could in the whole way. That's why I did a lot of <laughs> mileage <laughs> on my motorcycle, like and yeah, being already in, in a lot of the national parks, beautiful places. And it's it's so it's so nice when you are riding. You have nothing around, and you know that it's nothing around. Probably, I don't know, 10, 15, 30 miles. I don't know. There's nothing. Just probably some animals. You and the motorcycle and, and the road. And fucking enjoy that. That moment. I've been like almost being happy. I've been. I've been sad too. Like sometimes you feel so so alone, alone. I've been. Mean, you feel like, damn. Should I really be doing this? Like when I was in um, Death Valley, that was. I don't know. I was regretting everything. It was. It was. I was just starting the. Like the camping. I was getting out of California, where where I felt very good 
I stayed in California like one month, uh, mostly with people that I knew before.